Hello, everyday, and welcome to week five of the ISL. Your Transylvanian Gorbats still have not been able to pick up a win. And if we don't pick up a win this week, we're out of playoffs pretty much as soon as could have possibly been done. So that's not great. That's not a good place to start off the week. On top of that, in every other league I'm in right now, I'm pretty much going off a loss. So it's not been a great week league-wise for me. Sorry if you watch all my other leagues and you're surprised about that, but I mean, you can look at my differential and take a wild guess at how consistent my wins are. Not at all. Well, the losses, they're pretty consistent, but... Anyway, this week we are up against Coach Kurakara and Thus Spoke Zorok, which is a really cool team name, and very different from what you normally get. They are currently 1-3. They managed to pick up their first win last week, so congratulations to them. I'm hoping to end this little win streak very soon. Um, they've got quite a solid team. Um, one of their Pokemon I looked through and is super effective against seven of my eleven Pokemon. This thing has stabbed super effective against. When I finished the ISL draft this season, I thought, man, I actually drafted a pretty solid team. I was wrong. I dropped like five psychic types, or at least three psychic types, which is too many, on top of having my dark type resist being a ghost type, which is a horrible idea. This is not a particularly strong team, but we're still going to pick up our first win this week because I want to I wanna at least have a chance at playoffs, even if I'm already knocked out, I want to have a shot in the dark at playoffs because that, that would be nice. Um, I'm gonna quickly break down their team, and then I'm gonna hop into the match and break down my team. That too. Um, first up is Urshifu Rapid Strike. Um, I've never really been up against an Urshifu before, but it's quite a scary Pokemon. Um, fighting Water is a solid type combination. Um, it destroys Rock and Ground types. Um, ice types. Like, yeah, those are both effective. It doesn't really. Neither of them kind of counteract any of the other weaknesses, so that's a bit nice, that's something we're going to have to take advantage of, but it has, it can hit just so hard and that's what makes it such a threat. Uh, next up is Reggie Alecki. Reggie Alecki is one of the new toys that came out in the Crown Tundra DLC. Our missing is the fastest thing in existence, it is 200 base speed, which I think is like almost 50 base points high, or at least 20 base points higher than the number 2 spot, which is insane. Um, we are going to very much, we're not outspeeding Reggie Alecki, but the thing is, it doesn't have the best move pull in the world, so if we can have Pokemon in on it that take its hits well, that's going to be our best bet. Next up, they've got Rotom Mo. Um, Rotom Mo is a really solid Pokemon, another electric type, but this one has a Levitate, so electric only benefits it. Um, it's got that electric grass typing, which is really great. Three with Levitate, it destroys ground types. Um, it can really hurt rock types and flying types. It doesn't really have too many weaknesses apart from fire and ice. Which I think is the name of a book, but I don't know which one. Well, the Book of Fire, but nice, but I don't know what it's about. Um, next up is Galarian Weezing. This is their very poison type. Um, it does have that quad weakness of steel, which we might want to take advantage of, because that's a very nice weakness for us to have against it. Um, but apart from that, it's a very solid Pokemon. It has neutralizing gas, so things can't really set up in its face. I think that's what neutralizing gas does. I might be very wrong. Uh, next up is Drumper. Drumper is. One of, it's a, not the best dragon type in the world, it's only tier um, 4, um, but it does have that normal typing, so it has extra immunity to ghost in exchange for weakness to fighting. But it gets stab, hyper beam, dragon of course is just a great type. Um, they've got Mega Bomber Snow, one of the lower tier Megas. Um, I don't see Mega Bomber Snow coming because it's not very good against our entire team. Um, pretty much everything we have can hurt it. Also they have Dug Trio, I miss Dug Trio. Um, very very fast ground type. It's a threat, but we can deal with it. Um, Mandibuzz is a... Ooh, yeah, Mandibuzz. <laughs> Mandibuzz is the problem. Um, my team that I've drafted, it has four psychic types. Um, Victini, Latios, and, um, Metagross. It's also got a ghost type who has that extra... So it takes neutral damage from dark. Um, we have Mega Heracross, which takes super effective damage from flying type moves, so that's five Pokemon we have. Um, Golurk is weak to flying and dark. Um, Driftblim's weak to dark, Zerud is weak to flying. 
that's eight of our eleven Pokemon are weak to Mandibuzz. And you know who isn't weak to Mandibuzz? Suicune, <laughs> Lantern, and I think and Arbok, but Arbok just can't do much damage. Falpo and Mandibuzz pretty much two hit KOs our entire team bar Suicune. Um, that's how bad this situation is. If Man Mandibuzz is definitely coming, if they don't bring Mandibuzz, we win just like that. But they're probably going to do it, and we're going to have to play around it really cleverly. Uh, next up is Arcanine. Arcanine is really great fire type. Um, has solid move pool with Earthquake, um, Electric moves, and Fire type moves, and Dark type moves, but that's really it. Um, Zoroark doesn't have the best move pool in the world, but of course has that illusion ability, which makes it such a pain to deal with. And finally, Bronzong just kind of sits there. It doesn't have rapid spin, but it can set up spikes against us. Our team isn't particularly weak to spikes bar Victini. Um, I'm not bringing hazard removal this week. The reason of that is um, I couldn't really fit it on the team with the team that I needed to bring. So if they set up spikes, Victini kind of just becomes useless and we'll just send it in and Zen head right till it dies. Pretty much. Yeah, that's nice. Um, speaking of Victini, first Pokemon of the team that we are bringing. I decided to bring Victini because um, as a psychic type, it can hit Ushifu super effectively. It resists a Jilaki, hits Otomo, um, can hit Weezing, it can hit um, Mega Bomber Snow, Zoroark, Bronzog. So much of the team does take very intense amounts of damage from Victini. Um, I think it even outspeeds a non-max speed against Jilaki. But I'm not quite sure why you're doing that. The whole point of Reggie Lucky is you always get to move first. Um, we've got V-Create, Bolt Strike, Zen Headbutt, and U-Turn. Um, Bolt Strike is there for the Mandibuzz, mostly. Um, Zen Headbutt is there because it lets us hit... It's our best way to hit Weezing and Urshifu. And U-Turn is there just to get out of there, because we've got a choice scarf so we can really get some momentum. Uh, next up is Aero, the Latios. Um, Aero's carrying Life Orb this week with a kind of a weird set. Um, I'm running Thunder, Draco Meteor, Psychic, and a Roost. The reason I'm running these four moves, also, here are the EVs if you're interested. Um, the reason I'm running these four moves, Thunder is there for Mandibuzz. Draco Meteor hits most of the team quite hard, and Psychic um, is our way to hit Urshifu, Weezing, um, that's it, but it helps. Because um, if Weezing is, wants to switch on a Psychic, so that's way to hurt it. I've also got a Roost, so I can keep this thing at least moderately healthy. Next up is Caillou. Caillou um, takes quite a bit of damage from the Mandibuzz, but I'm running Toxic this week because that's my plan. Toxic the Mandibuzz and hope it dies soon. Oh, we got Disguise with a Life Orb, so we can definitely take a lot of hits. Um, but we can... Hit, we can't... Play Rough is our best way to hurt Mandibuzz, so if it comes in, we're definitely going to play Rough first, because I think that does quite a bit. Um, but Toxic is our main strategy to kill that thing. Next up is Lamp, the Lantern. Um, Lamp is carrying leftovers this week, a very bulky set, we're running um, Bolt Switch, Thunder Skull is just there to hurt um, their team, and um, Toxic is there for Rotom Mo if that wants to switch in. Um, I debated running a Rindo Berry set to reduce grass type damage, the reason I didn't is because um, that doesn't help us at all, uh, because Ice Beam would be um, the most damage we could do to Rotom Mo and it barely does 50% of a max special attack. And I didn't really think that was enough. Um, I'm running Volt Absorb so we can take electric type moves. So we have to watch out for ground and grass type moves, really. But that's what Lantern always has to watch out for. Um, yeah, that's really it. This thing can go on our Red Yaleki because it has the Volt Absorb ability, so it can really just hurt it. Um, we have another water type coming. This one cannot go on our Red Yaleki. Suicune. A uh, Suicune is running leftovers with the pressure ability. This thing is meant to just be annoying. Um, Scold, Sub, Calm Mind, Rest. I'm only running one attacking move. Um, substitute and Calm Mind, uh, that is just set up on them ideally. And then I hit Rest, back up to full. If I can get rid of Red Yalaki and Rotom Mo, this thing kind of just sits in the middle of the field and doesn't leave. Finally, Xavier. Um, I debated bringing Arbok this week, but I decided not to because... Um, it couldn't do much to Mandibuzz. This is our best way to um, deal with a lot of their team. Um, first up, it can hit the Weezing super effectively, um, a Bomb Snow. Um, 
Bonzong, it can hurt if Bonzong isn't running Earthquake. If Bonzong's running Heatproof, so we definitely have a way to hurt Bonzong. Um, I'm not running a way to really hit the Urshifu, so my plan is kind of just to scare them out of using Urshifu, really. Um, Bullet Punch, Earthquake, Meteor Mash, and a Rock Slide. Bullet Punch is there for priority, um, Earthquake is there for the Dialeki, um, maybe Urshifu. Maybe I'm going to drop Bullet Punch and instead put in Zen Headbutt. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, sorry, changing a bit there because I want a way to hurt that Urshifu. Yeah, I do. Hey, that rhymed. Um, I start out with clear body, normal Metagross stuff. That's our team. I really want to pick up a win this week because I'd like to not be totally eliminated from playoffs immediately. But you know what? If we are, we can just really mess around the rest of the season. Um, I want to get one win this season. Just one. Um, I don't want to go a season without a win. Because I've done that before and it, it sucks. Um, I'm definitely more enthusiastic about draft content when I'm winning, and I think that's my mistake because I joined I joined five draft leagues a while ago. Um, one of them just finished up and one of them um died out, and I'm in three now. But the five was a huge mistake, massive mistake. While I've gotten to meet some nice people and I've enjoyed some of it, just so much of my time has been spent with draft. I'd fallen behind with schoolwork, so I had to take time away from draft and not make good draft content just so I could catch up on schoolwork, which I think I'm caught up with now, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm pretty sure I am, hopefully. And draft content, it just isn't as good because I don't have the enemy team there and I feel like it's way more interesting. But maybe when we're down to two leagues, I'll do that. But for the next five weeks at least, which is insane, five weeks is a big commitment. But here we are. So anyway, thank you all for watching, we're gonna go and hop into the match. I am really enjoying this league, and if you're watching this and you're from the ISL, um, I'm excited to battle you, pretty much. And if we've already battled, I'm gonna see you in playoffs, because I'm making it to playoffs. Provided I win the next five matches on the bounce, but we're not gonna talk about that. Thank you for watching, let's open the battle, and let's fly Golbats. No, wait, I'm not doing that one, we need a better one. Let's... Just... Um... Okay, we're in the battle. It's pretty much everything we were scared of. Uh, no Regieleki, um, but I prepared for Regieleki. I didn't bring a ground type, so I'm glad I didn't. Um, Zorox here. That does mean, because Zorox here, that does kind of mean Mimikyu's got a little bit more viability, which is nice. Um, Waste Kill Suicune, they only really have their Rokum. I feel like Dog is quite a likely lead. Um, because Rokum's here, I kind of want to hesitate to lead with anyone else. Um, can I lead with Arrow? Lamb does have Volt Switch and works really well against their team. And I think Doug Chio is kind of a likely lead. Um, I'm gonna add some cards real quick. Um, Lantern, Lamp Set versus a Doug Trio lead. I think that's like 71%. But, and no, they do not die to Scald. Um, but I would just really hurt it. I'm kind of things you want. Yeah, I'm gonna leave with Lamp. I'm gonna leave with Doug Trio. They do. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna. Am I just gonna scold here? Yeah, because we can take an earthquake. Actually, how important is Lamp? Very. I'm gonna scold, but. Because I don't know if this thing is Sand Trap. Earthquake, 33%, pretty much exactly what we thought. They aren't even. Ooh, we get the burn with the school. That's real nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Um, burn halves their attacking prowess. Um, wait, how much were they going to do originally? Like, they got pretty much um, exactly average. The negative two, they would do like 36. So I should be able to take this hit. Um, but I want to switch out into arrow. Because this thing dies to burn next turn. I don't think I have much to lose by switching out to arrow here. And it's going to work. Go for earthquake. We get the prediction. 
Dope Shooter's gone. Okay, Lamps hurt, but I'm really glad I got the prediction because now Lamp gets to at least keep some of their HP. Okay. Interesting. Rotom. Choice Specs. Shadow Ball only does like. Nope, if we have Latios. Um. Arrow. Yeah, this thing is probably about to go for a Shadow Ball. Um. We're very fast. And Draco Meteor should. Oko this thing? Um. What happens if they're Scarf? That's Troubleberry. They do like 76% of their Scarfed. Um. I don't really have something to go in that actively takes it, so I think I've kind of got to just Draco Meteor. There's no wheezing. That does mean Xavier is a lot less useful. How much does this do to Metagross? Metagross, Xavier. A Shadow Ball does like 74%. I don't feel like that's the best option, so I'm just going to Draco Meteor here. This might even be the um, Zoroark. Okay, we're just going to knock out Rotom straight away. It was the Zoroark. You thought, you thought you could play me, but you can't. Big brain. Big brain. Um, it wasn't Big Bane at all. I didn't register that it could have been a Zoroark until after I'd clicked the move. Um, I'm glad I got it out of the way, because I really should have registered, oh yeah, Zoroark exists. What if I'd gone for Psychic there? What would I have done then? Um, however, this does mean that <laughs> has one less bet. I I'm gonna go ahead and assume this is Rotombo. Um... They can hurt so much, my team is the problem. Um, I can't really do much to it now. It just hurts me so badly. Um, what's Latios' thing right now? Who's... Who doesn't matter, is what I'm asking. Caillou, as a ghost type, um, hurts Mandibuzz and Urshifu, but doesn't really do much against Arcanine. Vendetta destroys this thing, um, really hurts Mandibuzz. Uh, yeah, Vendetta can hurt most of their team. Wonderwall is quite important for the Mandibuzz. I think I'm gonna sack off Lamp here. Ooh, Dark Pulse! Um, okay. I'm gonna Toxic. I don't think Dark Pulse would even have killed me. Um... That's a really, that's some interesting tech. Latios, Arrow. Yeah, Dark Pulse only did like 50%. Um, I'm glad I made the switch, that was the right play there. This thing can just leave some knock me out here, I'm gonna Toxic it anyway. Ooh! Okay, I get to Toxic the Rotom. Um, so I see they're not leftovers or any Scarfed item. Um, that was very nice that I got the Volt Absorb boost there. Um... Lamp just suddenly turned into a little bit of a little bit of a threat here. Um, I still don't know if they're gonna run Shadow Ball. I think I just stay in and do I Volt Switch myself? Because I think they're gonna. I'm gonna Volt Switch here because I can get the slow Volt Switch. I mean, I speed this thing. Yeah, Leaf Storm. Down we go. Cool. Um, I'm gonna do Draco Meaty or something, and it's gonna die. Is that what I want to do here? Yes. Because nothing on the team actively wants to take a Draco Meteor. Um, how much does Draco Meteor do to- I know this thing's dead. Mandibuzz. Um, OU defensive. Draco Meteor only does 69%. Three, two, um, if one. it's specially defensive, it does 50%. You know what? But I, if if we take out Rotom here, Suicune I think just wins. Um, because we can, apart from okay, Rotom's dead. We're gonna reveal the Life Orb to them. In comes this thing. Okay. 
if we have foul plays here, I kind of just die. Can I go into Suicune? Suicune, Wonder Wall. Most it does is foul play me, and that doesn't do much. I'd love to Toxic this thing. Who else on my team is Toxic? Wait, I didn't throw away my only thing with Toxic, did I? I only put three moves on the Mimikyu, are you kidding me? Okay, well, epic gamer moment, we win this. Okay. Foul play, nothing. Nothing. Pathetic. You make me sick. I'm kidding there, but... Um, I think I'm gonna start subbing here. I'm gonna set the sub. Ooh, they're gonna go for Toxic and it's gonna fail. That's nice. Uh, do I start Calm Minding or do I just start Scalding? Um, I think I'm gonna start Calm Minding. We are faster than this thing. Foul play, um, I'm gonna get at least one of those. I'm gonna Calm Mind again. Because I'm faster than this thing. We're gonna get... Okay, I'm gonna go for a third one. Because I still have rest. This thing can't do much to me. Lantern just absolutely came in clutch there. Okay. They're gonna lose and they're gonna fail. Um, I'm totally fine by getting to plus six and sitting behind a sub. Because I can take any hit from anything on their team. I'm not quite sure what their strategy is here. They just keep clicking roost. I'm still sitting behind this sub. <gasps> no, what I do? Okay. So they're foul play toxic roost in default. Pretty expected. Um, I didn't bring any hazards. Um, scold. Parry this. Why did that do? This thing is so bulky. I'm plus six. Anyway, it's dead now. Um, does Wonderwall just pick up three wins? Down goes down the base. Um. We might be about to pick up our first win of the season. This thing has unseen fist, which is scary, but it is going to take a plus six gold. Thunder punch. That's going to fade. We only do like 50%. Wow. Um. I think we can tank a thunder punch. Um. Uh, Shifu. I assume it's choice band. And they're gonna use Thunder Punch. I should take it. Oh yeah, we take it. And I think Scald is on. <laughs> yeah, in comes Arcanine. Sorry, Arcanine. I've got the better dog. The water types just came in clutch. Three of our Pokemon didn't hit the field. That's the win I needed. I spoke about in Team Builder how I was on a bit of a hot losing streak. That's the win I needed. Transylvanian Golbats get their first ever win. It's not a complete loss of a season. We're back. I had a chance in playoffs. We're gonna have to play really well to get into playoffs, but you know what? I still have hope. Um, after how we played that, I feel like we have a chance to make it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and upload the replay to this. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all had a great time. And see you in the next one. Odf out. Goodbye.